What's up y'all, I'm Kyle, you're watching Driving and Vibing. Today's video is all about the Oru Kayak, talking about seven features that we've come to love about this thing and uh, giving you some of our first-hand experience. So stay tuned. Welcome back to the channel, y'all. If this is your first time here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Uh, just last week, we made a video where we moved into our newly renovated Airstream travel trailer. And part of that video was taking this kayak out for the first time. And we had a lot of comments asking to find out more info about this kayak. So we thought we would go ahead and expand on that last video and kind of tell you about some of the features because this is a really unique kayak. I mean, what you see right here actually folds out to become a tandem kayak. Obviously, it's good for two people or some pups. <laughs> so let's dive in to this Oru kayak. If at any time you want to dive a little deeper into the specs, you can check out the link below. I'll put it in the description and in the comment section. That will take you to an article where you can reference during this video or after and uh, let you know all about the features. If you're unfamiliar with our channel, um, we've been living and traveling in an RV for four years now. Whenever we hit the road, we were unable to take our two kayaks with us. And that was a total bummer, but we just knew it wasn't going to be doable because we didn't have the room to mount them on our truck roof or haul them in the back anywhere. So we had to leave those back in our hometown. So you can imagine our excitement whenever we discovered about this origami folding kayak and the new um, opportunities we'll have to go kayaking without taking up this roof rack space or way too much space in the back of the truck. So that kind of leads into the first feature of this Oru kayak and that's the size of it. In the shape it's in right now, packaged up, it's about 30 by 30 by 15. So we can slide it in the side of our truck and it won't take up too much room. You can set things on top of it, you can set it on top of things and uh, it will store pretty easily. It's about the size of an extra large suitcase. Now I have to admit it is a little bit bigger than I imagined. The second feature of this kayak is the weight. It weighs 40 pounds uh, and that's pretty light. I can carry it easily by myself both when it is in this kind of suitcase configuration and whenever it is in its full um, folded out configuration and set up as a kayak. So it's easy for me to transport it, but like the size, it is a little bit heavier than I did anticipate um, whenever we got it. But 40 pounds still isn't that much. It weighs less than our generator. The thing that was a game changer for us in the third feature of this kayak is its portability. It stores in our truck easily, with being full-time RVers, we need all the space that we can ha use in the back of the truck. And we don't really have tons of space to spare. But with how this is shaped, kind of like a large suitcase, 15 inches deep, I can tuck it into the side of the truck and still have a lot of room to position around it. And this strap makes it very easy to carry around. I can just throw it over my shoulder and go down to the boat launch to set it up. The next feature, number four, is the quality of the construction. This is made out of five millimeter double layered polypropylene. Um, on their website, they say it can be dragged around, it can be scraped on the bottom of a boat ramp. You want to kind of treat it like a fiberglass boat. Not abuse it, but also know that it is rugged. Part of the construction is the great straps and connectors that it has to work in the both suitcase position and once it's configured as an actual tandem kayak. It has color-coded um, straps for easy instructions to know how to uh, put it together and take it back apart and the buckles work very well these right here so it stays in position as it's supposed to stay whenever we're using it no matter if it's as a kayak or as a suitcase and this is rated for 20,000 folds i don't think we'll be using the kayak 20,000 times but it's good to know that we can fold it up and unfold it that many times before this kind of structure deteriorates so uh, that was cool to know. I just can't imagine us even getting a tenth of that usage out of it knowing that, you know, 
we don't kayak every day. That would take a lot of folds to make this 20,000. The versatility is the next feature we love. Uh, so it's about a 10 minute setup. We set it up in about 25 minutes on our very first attempt. We were going through the instructions and uh, just learning how this operates. But whenever we broke it down the very first time, it really only took 10 minutes. And I can see going forward, it will take less and less time. I think we can probably get it down to 15 minutes set up next time. Hopefully the third time, uh, about 10 minutes. And it can be set up as one or two seats. That is part of the versatility we love of this tandem model of the Oru kayak. Uh, we can set it up so both Olivia and I can take a kayak trip, but also I can set it up with one seat and bring our dog with us or just bring a lot of gear with us, whether I'm fishing or taking a cooler with me. It gives us a lot of versatility on that front to uh, let us dictate how we want to use it, whether it's for one or two people or our dog. And uh, it holds up to 500 pounds. So even if Olivia and I went out on there and we could and brought a cooler, we'd still be under the limit and not have to worry about exceeding that 500 pounds capacity. One of the more vain features of it, but that I cannot deny, is that whenever we took it out the other day, we must have gotten 20 questions from different people out there about what this thing is and how cool it looks. And I have to admit, whenever it is set up in its um, kayak form, it looks so sleek, it looks so interesting, and uh, it's just super cool. It, it's super fun to have something that sparks a conversation with you know fellow water sport enthusiasts out there, whether they're on a boat or canoeing or kayaking. Uh, the attention was drawn to the Oru. Now, if you don't want the attention, you might need to go to a, a more private lake or body of water. The last feature of the Oru kayak isn't necessarily a feature of this tandem kayak, but Oru in general, they offer about I think it's four different models. So really, depending on your style of kayaking, they have the beach kayak, which is uh, like recreational paddling. They have the bay, which is more of a sport touring, little faster and smoother of a ride. And then they have the coast, which is really made for expeditions. So, uh, you know, that's not my life, but hey, I'd be interested to know what a kayak expedition was like. Uh, I guess it would take a lot of pre-planning though. <laughs> and then they have this Haven model, which is the tandem. And for Olivia and I, casual kayakers who like to spend time together, uh, the tandem for us was the easy choice because we want to be able to experience the water, have a good time together. We are really excited about the potential it gives us both together or with our dog or individually to go out there and explore nature on the water. Uh, it is just something close to our hearts, being raised on the water. Whenever we are inland, we love to still take advantage of those lakefront sites and the riverfront sites. It uh, makes us feel a little more connected to those water vibes. We're excited to use it down the line and see if we can get, hey, those 20,000 folds in. That'd be pretty awesome. Thank you guys for watching today. Check out that blog article, give the video a thumbs up, and if this is your first time here, subscribe to our channel because we're all about outdoor adventure and living that life close to nature. We'll see you guys later. Peace.